Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to run .mp file using a prompt. Uh, first, I wanted to explain why do we need to use a prompt instead of using a GUI. So, okay, last time I showed I showed you to use this one. Uh, we call this. Uh, GUI. You have an interface that you can inter interact with. The problem is that when you uh, when you have a file, when you are using this uh, interface, um, the the software needs to update many things. Once you have a new, uh, once you have some progress in your calculation, uh, the software needed to update the graphics so that uh, you can you can see what happens here. And uh, this takes time. That's why uh, most people like to use the, the interface to, to check the model. Okay, um, you can use your you can use this interface to set up your model. And once you make sure that your model is uh, is good to go, you can use a uh, prompt to run your model because it's faster. And once your model, once your simulation is done, you can use this interface to check your model, like uh, uh, what I have, what I have done here. So you can just uh, check the result here. So you can you can see it here. And you can extract uh, your results here. But when you, uh, when you wanted to run this model, you don't need this interface. You can you can use this interface if uh, your job is uh, very simple. But for a complicated model like this, um, it's better to use uh, a prompt. It will save you a lot of time. Okay. So, okay, let's have a let's have a recap. Last time, uh, I I said I already set up a model, and uh, everything I already made I already made sure that everything is correct, and uh, then I have a file called .mp file. So, if you use uh, once you make sure that your model is uh, good to go, you can save your model or you can just uh, run your model and your .mp file will appear in under this folder called a temp. Called a temp. It's uh, called a temporary file, so it's tmp. And you can find this is a complete model. So you just need to copy this file, .mp file. Okay, I already copied it here. And uh, you can once you open this file, you can see this is your entire model. You can see everything here. So this is your uh, loading steps. You have first loading step. It's called a uh, initial contact, and you have your second loading step. It's called adjust. You have your third loading step called step loading. Okay, and. In our previous in our previous video, I already tested this file, so this file is good to go. Then you can just uh, hold Shift and right click. Sorry, hold Shift, right click, and you open this PowerShell window here. And then you tap this. Okay, so you put abacus, okay, and your job name. So you put you need to put your job name here. So here my job name is P F Universal, okay, plus, and then you put it into reactive. 
and a new heater enter. You can see here your model is uh, your model starts running without opening GUI interface, right? So, but it's equivalent. You can see your model is uh, is running now. Uh, I can pop up uh, the other one so that you can see. So you can see here. So you can see all the files that you have in here. So this is what I obtained from GUI interface. This is what I obtained from this uh, prompt. You can see you have uh, you pro you have uh, all the files that you you have that I have here. And once you see this run standard, it means uh, the model is uh, that everything is fine. If you just uh, if you sometimes uh, your prompt just uh, pops up and then it exits itself. That means something wrong with your model. But since we already we already checked from uh, my previous video, my last video, then the model can run smoothly. So how can you check your model? How can you check if your model is running or not? You can open this file. You can see here. This model finished the the first step, so which is zero four, which is zero point zero one. Okay, it means the model is running its very first step. Once this uh, number becomes one, it means uh, your first step have been finished. So, and the last time I just stopped at this uh, at at the very first step, because uh, you just need this step to make sure that your model is uh, good to go. Okay. Yeah. So now what you have to do is just wait. Once uh, your model is finished, this window will exit itself, and your model will uh, your finished. Your result will be start will be started in this file ODB file, and you can open Abacus and open this file to check your results. So my file is in the desktop user desktop here. So it's a test file, right? And you need to check ODB file and open it. You can see this is your model. And you can see here you just finish. You are in very you are in step one. It's initial con contact, and uh, you already you you only finished zero point zero two. Okay. So once your model is done, you can check your result. For example, I want to check the contact pressure here. So you can put pressure here. You can see there is nothing because we don't have, uh, because the contact haven't established yet. Okay, I can show you another model uh, later. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to close this and the model will stop here because it takes time. You can see now we, we are in 0 0.035. Okay, but I'm going to show you what it will look like after the model finished. This uh, this is uh, 
what I obtained from the test file. And I'm going to show you a finished model that I have done. Okay. So let's just open this one. So you can see, uh, you can just ignore this. So you can see these files are from a prompt. And uh, once you open this file, you can see here, the last number should be three. And you can see the LSS has completed successfully. From here to here, it means you finished just the, the first step. And from here, you can see two. It means uh, you are in second step. And here, the rest is the third step. So the third step is step is uh, called loading. The second step is uh, adjust, right? And okay. the first step is uh, initial contact. Uh, I'm going to close this. Uh, so I'm going to show you what it uh, will look like when you open the completed model in a GUI interface. So you can just open and find the file that you Find the located the located the fo folder that you put your files in. I will just open Biologic, open it, double click. You can find this, right? So if you wanted to check if your motion is correct, you can check here from the very first step and. Go smoothly. Oh, you need to put it here. Sorry. Otherwise, the model wants uh want to move because you need to uh highlight this icon. This is deformation. Oh, this icon. This icon is the original uh position. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to start from the very first step. This is the initial and the last step is uh, loading. And you can uh, drag this. You can see the, in the first step, initial contact, all the bones move towards the uh, palace bone. And then in the second step, it's uh, adjust. These uh, bones won't move anymore. And uh, tibia, oh, sorry, the talus bone will move freely. Once the adjust step is done, the loading step will work. So the model, the tibia and the tip, the tibia and the fibula will move it downwards. Okay, the, in, in this in this model, I I bring the labicular bone in the in the last step. That's why you can you you that's why you you can see that the bone moved up a little bit. And then you can ch you can also check, so you can also check uh, contact the pressure here. But you need, you need first you need to highlight this button, and then you need to select contact pressure, and then you open uh, one cartilage, click uh, tibia cartilage, and 
as you can see here, uh, the color map shows uh, the contact the contact pressure on tibia cartilage, and the value uh, that uh, each color represents will show up will show here. And also, you can also you you can also check. Uh, contact the pressure on other cartilages. And if uh, you are interested in making videos for your model, you can just uh, click uh, uh, animate, save as, so you can uh, give a name as or you can choose different uh, format for your videos and choose uh, how fast or how slow and OK save it and if you click OK so you will save a video under this folder uh, I think that's all you need to know about uh, GUI interface and uh, one last thing before you run your sometimes uh, when you run your mp file uh, you might end up a uh, uh, lot finishing it because of the error you can check uh, a message file to see where your error is Uh, this uh, this file gives you a detailed uh, record of uh, of which step you are you are in and uh, where your error is. Uh, I think that's uh, that's all you need for biological model. Thank you. See you next time.